What's up guys? This is the Revan and I am back to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States. So to run off about last time, we have been attacked by a force of Maratha troops, and although it gives them significantly better odds than us, that is absolutely not the case, because we will destroy them. We have lots of irregular cavalry, some lancers, and lots of just chaff infantry. We do have mortars at the back, so we might have to send some of our concentral dragoons around the flanks. But without further ado, let's crack on. Tour of India, I've got lots of troops, lots of armies ready. So effectively, get ready just to conquer India from the inside out. As long as mankind shall continue to bestow more liberal applause on their destroyers and on their benefactors, the thirst of... Hmm. Poignant, Mr. Gibbon. Poignant. There we go. Okie dokie, so they are attacking us, so we're going to want to have a look. And what's the best position to defend? It's not a great position for an artillery. So it's probably going to be round shot for a while until... Round shot until they get within range and then hit them with cast shots. I might deploy an additional unit into this centre because I'd like my artillery to be on this hill. So let's change the direction of this. Mm. Something like this. Then each flank can have two units of light infantry and some line infantry. This flank's just going to be light infantry, which is a bit dodgy. I might put my, both my dragoons on this flank and then probably lump my howitzers over here provide support for that flank. Run! Run away! Run away! Nah. Mm. Quick I'm sword I've got a lot of some guys. So let's take these guys. Move them up. Let's limber this artillery. Let's get them into as much more advantageous position up on the hill. So you absolutely want to quick climb the cavalry that we can see. To be honest, I might actually... Okay, I think I might do something like this. So these guys deploy stakes where they are immediately. Oh, I didn't hit any of my... I hit a gun team. Place stakes, yeah. Buggers. Come on. Okay, let's target, specifically target the cavalry. Although this isn't a fantastic spot for infantry. Form squares. Get out of square formation. So they might catch my artillery in the open, but that's okay if they do. Be 
guys need to pour some fire into these pikemen. Yeah, it's, it's understandable that we lost our artillery. Recovery are committed. So let's draw the line back. Let's try to bring the cavalry back. So the intriguing part is where will the enemy reinforcements come on from. I'm not bothered about the armed peasantry. I am bothered about cavalry. Which might pull the Retreat the general back because I'm not so bothered about him. Good stuff. What's the enemy reinforcements coming in from the far side? <clears throat> Which will make the employment of this or the positioning of this artillery that much more important. So I might even want to do you focus on focus on whatever you can get. Present. Let's retreat this artillery back. Good old skirmishes are standing in the back alone. And these guys can be particularly devastating, firing in on the flank. Okay, let's pull. Let's pull these guys back. Let's pull my general back. Target my howitzers. We form square. Oh no. Engaging Hindu warriors. So I think this form a square. Form a square. No, the reinforcements are coming from up here, actually. For, folks fire their artillery. Charge my general in, so I could well lose Peter Payne. Pr 
probably going to lose this artillery. Oh, and I'm killing my own dudes. Just hold the line, foot infantry. Let's retrieve this general back. Inform square. goes into the mix rapidly. Stay in square formation, sirs. Hmm, they're after them again. Get Peter Payne out of the way. Get them to start chasing down some of those guys' irregulars. Let's run this infantry back over here. You run into the back of these Hindu warriors. <clears throat> Go away, Gunner. Need to chase them down. Let's get my infantry in position. Let's get this artillery out of the way. So you are doing a good job trying to kill them. Join the fight. Yeah, they finally broke. Of all troops, lighter infantry are the best suited to take on elephants. Light troops can dodge blows and make attacks quick. quicker than their more heavily armed colleagues. That is so I didn't never knew that. Spikes, please. Jab, 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 jab. No freedom of manoeuvre for you. Send my light infantry to go chase after their artillery. Peter Payne, come take out that foot artillery, because they're doing a hell of a lot of damage. Keep blasting their armies with cursed shots. Elizamandari pikemen are not doing very well. Can it shot the D. 
Derbyshire's howitzers are racking up a lot of kills. Ooh, good to be around this way. Do not chase them, in general. You guys withdraw. Thank God those Hindu warriors aren't about. Send my light infantry to skirmish the guns. I should send my general up here as well to also skirmish the guns. To kill the large mortars. Awesome. Hmm. Shrapnel shots certainly proving their worth. It's a complete route. Absolutely, I want to continue. Oh, that's my already routing gun. Okay, so let's halt fire with light infantry and all that stuff, and let's speed up time, because I definitely want to kill. The mortars would be nice, but they're going to escape. Ah, oh, let's just go after. Go after some of their delicious infantry. Peter Payne's going to be ranking up all the kills. Go after the Hindu musketeers. Hindu warriors, sorry. Because the Hindu warriors are particularly. I mean, I can't really say if they're any better or worse, especially than other melee units, but. They're not bad. And these dervishes are going to rout. Oh well. It happens. So they definitely. We definitely paid for this victory. But this is why I have so many armies in the area. Is that when one gets particularly battered, I can have another one that's in better condition, leapfrog ahead, and continue the... Yeah, we lost 1,200, but we killed 4,500 of theirs. So not too bad. But you can see all the armies that are in play. Okay, these guys are going to fall back because they've just been hit. So I could probably sally out and hit Ahmadnagar now. Oh, there's a little. Oh, there's a bit of a. Okay, they're all driving in through the centre of Afghanistan, and that is potentially cause for concern. The important thing is that we keep replenishing our troops like mad. Although at some point it looks like we're going to have a great... Ooh, I was literally about to say at some point we have a great defence of Bengal. And it looks like we're going to do that now. So let's... I should do this more often really. I just forget. Let's mix it up so my infantry come in first with a smattering of cavalry. That should be good enough to deal with these chaps. But let's do it. We're going to have every opportunity we have. And if we waited now, and we didn't attack us later on with a bigger force. So it's not ideal, but we've got to do what we've got to do. And this is why we have those armies to the south, ready to throw. Okay, so our walls are and they're not completely intact. So we are facing that way. You're mostly damaged. OK, 
Okay, let's put Union Marines on the gate. We could fab. We could do with a bit of red, though. The thumbnail has the red, f the jacket being face red rather than yellow. That'd be neat. I'm going to assume this gets destroyed. So let's do this. Let's put one unit of artillery back here to cover this breach. And let's put another unit sort of back to front, back to back like this. Fire will turn off. Let's deploy some marines into this house. Let's deploy another unit of marines here. Let's put a light infantry unit in this building. Let's deploy. We've already deployed. 144 marines here. Guard mode on. Foot infantry and continental marines like this. One howitzer to here. Ready to fire. Same here. Good. Now let's start to fortify the walls properly. Let's put a unit of oh. a unit of light infantry on this wall. Just we protect this gate. General's bodyguard will remain in the center. And we've got three units ready to deploy to areas that feel at risk. Well actually that's this is the area at risk. So let's put a unit like this. A unit firing straight on. Now we have one unit ready to respond. Let's engage. Oh, they can actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they could engage with. You absolutely want to kill their mortars first, but you can't reach. It looks like they're all they're all going to want to hit this section of the wall. So I absolutely want to get your your fire will sorted out. We could probably deal with we could probably get away with moving these guards, but I'll do that later. If they're going to all come this way, these are the guys I definitely want to be ready. Should have had my light infantry deploy stakes, but oh well. Yeah. So it's a matter of priority to hit these mortars because they can fire quick climb at us. Cut the crews down by half. Oh, come on. Because these are the guys I need to be ready. Because look how many targets are coming their way. Yeah, they're like... Fire I will. Oh, the Gurkhas are coming around, that's why. Come on, run into position. Oh. Firewall on. Good lads. Although they're all having trouble finding their spot. Good lads, these are exactly what we want. Is that the mortars routing? It is. Perfect. 
So let's start to target our artillery against their conventional forces. See, look at the amount of damage these guys are already doing. And I, but I anticipate there might be a breach attempting to be made. Well, they will break this wall down, which means they may all just come storming through here. So I might actually deploy these guys ready. And if they do go for this fort, then this art mortar unit will try and drop some shells outside here. Oop, here comes some quick climb. Oh yes, oh yes. Slight miss. Good job on the mortars, lads. So you're engaging the infantry. You are still engaging. I want. I still want someone to pick up, pick up, pick off the cavalry. Okay, let's get ready. Get ready with the canister shot. stuff. Are you just going to charge the wall and slow my game down? These guys are reorganizing. Being skirmished by some camel, by some camel gunners. Clear them off. Looks like an effort's being made to try and come around the flank, which is ideal. shooting now. Firewall off. Firewall on. These guys are forming up. They're being picked at. I don't care if you're not having the guns would be handy, but if you don't... I would accept the massacre of their regular forces. Yeah. Quick line firing, those those lances are almost destroyed, so let's keep let's go for the Gurkhas. Come on, come through this lovely breach. Good stuff. In they come. Shrapnel shot in the breach. Awesome. Want to take come on, hit the Gurkhas before they get in.
come on, now you they've worked it out. Can you not work it out? Staff, still killing you, they've still I'm not taken this breach, but they want to. I mean, the Hindu musketeers are up there, and that's fine, you can fight my marines. Engage them with canister shot. Well, no, aim here. Because they all span to shoot out here, which is obviously not what I want. Ooh. Yep, it's because they're all trying to attack the corner of this wall. Stay classy, Empire. It was, it was going so well for so long. Dervishes are routing. You aim at the cavalry, you aim at... Could aim at them, but there's almost no point, because they can't actually... They're too close and... Go after the seat musketeers. Go after some of these units, they're going to try and come in. God damn it. I've experimented before, experimented before by just doing this. If I move my troops off, they're not, they don't try to, like they seem a bit stuck. So they've thrown ropes up, but they don't want to go for it. They want to go for the breach instead, which is what I would prefer. Now we retake our position on the walls. Including with the guns. Oh, no. Quick climb comes in. Can you have actually tried to take this section of the wall? So I immediately want to start to pull these guys over here. This area is not under threat, but this area over here is. Immediately engage the Gurkhas, who are already at half strength. I mean, I will try and drop some quicklim shells on them, but whether or not it will do any good, I don't know. Straight the square formation. There's the Gurkhas coming in. 101st Regiment of the Gurkhas. As they bravely charge into my Marines, bravely charge away. Seeks. Shrapnel shot into the Bajir infantry. That's a lot of troops. But they're about to get engaged. Oh god! Cameraman died. Fire them off for these guys because they are just. I 
Building lost. Well, let's run a line inventory over there immediately. Let's go take it back. Is it our wall now? We've killed. We've pushed back the Gurkhas to go after the Hindu warriors. Okay, good. I was a bit concerned I might have to take the building back. But they are getting involved, so good job my line infantry guards are here. Have Adam boys. These guys should theoretically be firing at these guys. Okay, let's retarget my howitzers. Hit some of the reinforcing troops coming in. So let's put my line infantry guards here, put my Constantin Marines here, I suppose. Friendly fire, quick line, kill them. Let's focus on the reinforcements coming in. Including the general's bodyguard. There we go, could about a dozen more their cavalry. You guys should be firing at them. stuff. Oh, some of my quickly must have hit them then, because look at all those dead bodies. Doesn't work so well against camels then. Look at this, they're all getting along so well. I'm coming in. Miss mostly. Okay, so let's speed up time a little bit because right now nothing's happening so much. My Marines are doing an okay job against the Indian infantry. Question is though, can they actually make them break? Because I might bring foot line infantry up and ready. Hindu warriors are routing, which is perfect. Just keep knocking out the cavalry, they're as good a target as any. Any reinforce any troops coming in to try and storm the breach again will be repelled. Yep, sending the cavalry in. Me and my marines should be okay against the Hindu musketeers, but you never know. Okay, the cover is picking away in my marines. Fire your shrapnel shot, all of you. Fire will on. Turned it off to firing up in the backs of the combat up on the wall. So they're trying to engage my units on the walls. Musket battle, it's not going to go well for them. It's unfortunate they're not firing. 
Oh, this is slowly starting. Figuring it out. Okay, let's get them to start hitting the reinforcements as well as the cavalry. Hit that unit of Sikh warriors. Is that all of your troops, but also some of you are stuck here. I don't know how many are in there. Just two, looks like. Yeah, so our marines are losing because they've been outnumbered. So let's bring this line infantry up to cover it better. Yep, Pindari horse might have been routed. It's tempting to make this breach happen. Because we've been ready. And I've got units that are fresh. And ready to make it happen. Oh, I knocked out one of my guns. Less than ideal. <sighs> Juicy target for quick climb. If ever I've seen one. Yep, there we go. So we've got a breach. Cannons to shot straight at it. They are continuing their charge up the walls. We need to focus on killing these musketeers first. Here they come. Fireball back on. Running around. Yeah, my marines aren't happy. Ooh, that's a big block of Hindu musketeers taken out. Good, we have killed them up here, but it looks like they're they're a bit bugged out trying to get into the fort, so they've kind of run up the side of the gates, run up the grappling hooks and actually starting to run around now, which puts them at risk of being engaged by more types of troops. Because these, these guys are further away, they should technically get better quick climb shots like that yes so we've got the numerical advantage but they are winning Pull one a marine unit back. That will make up the difference with these two units. So these guys get engaged. I'll even do shrapnel shot. The shrapnel shot seems to make a bigger boom. Right there. 
that's where I want it. Kaboom, kablamo! More like here. That's where I want it. Yep, yeah, all the cover is coming back. Let's put a unit on the wall here. Climb shot, come in. It's big old, big old swarm through the breach, though. Fire! Oh, there's a handful of people reloading. Confident, allegedly. Hey, reinforcements! Straight on in. Awesome. Routing, 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 routing. And this is what I want. Some guys will sit around the outside of the wall, some will sit in here and fire into this cauldron of death. Complete route. Good stuff. Quite a set of infantry here. See if they man that cannon. Put my marines on the centre here. Let's keep this infantry moving along slow. There's no rush to get them in. Picking your quick line targets. You form. You form up again. Good stuff. Speed up time, just an eedy bit. square because you're about to get charged by cavalry. Probably more cavalry than you would like to. Oh but they're hidden. They're charging the corner again. Yep. Okay let's move you away from this corner. Comes more Maratha cavalry. To you. Nope, now they're coming in. Well, still charging the walls, but they're managing to not bug the game out quite so much. Take these horsemen for a charge, please. Oh, we took off the lead horsemen. Yeah, they're broken. They've lost half their number. I like the wave ring again. They've come back. Oh, it's a different unit, that's why. Fire will for you. Come on, come on, infantry, engage. Oh, I mean, they're right there. I'm trying to 
gonna charge them like blockhouse, which is full of marines. So that's not necessarily a good idea. Especially they're charging some marines to do it. Cavalry returned. Let's bring this infantry up again. More than capable of fighting their own battle. Yep, yeah, wavering. I mean, the elephants are a bit of a gap, a bit of a, a bit of a problem, but of course, light infantry can blah 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 blah. More Pindari horsemen. It's interesting. To see, it'll be interesting to see if I can manage to knock out the general's bodyguard units. So. Convincingly. To be honest, I think this is all they've got on the field. All their reinforcements are spent. And this is it. Speed up time a little bit. Let's run my infantry up a little bit. And then let's just get my infantry ready to engage the elephants. The general's bodyguard. Scoot up a little bit. Fire! Let's just avoid their general. I mean, obviously he's going to smash into my guys, but let's just run away from him. Understandable, you're wavering. You've been charged by a load of elephants. Let's put the infantry guards back. You, what are you doing? Get back here, you. So let's hold this super killy friendly fire. Speed up time. This is the bait to lure their general in. Not well enough, but we managed to kill some. But I think. We need cavalry running to the rear. So the general's back up here. Or well, one of them is, anyway. Okay, let's get focus fire. This general's bodyguard, try and make him rout. Good. Focus fire on this unit of mortars. To be honest with you, if we just got some cavalry and some artillery, then I'll send this infantry unit in to do the job. Maybe Mon General. Nope, oh, they've managed to breach here. Okay, so let's target you guys against 12 pound a foot. You engage the the artillery and kill them all. I mean, I retargeted the the um the 
Round shot doesn't do any difference. Alright, let's go after him. Awesome source. Come on, madame and monsieur. And then let's march on the wall. I mean, they're tired, they're a bit knackered, but to be honest, they're just going to have... It's going to be a bit of a shootout with some Bidari horsemen, and then it's going to be the end of the battle. Might even run them, because it's so it's going to be over so quickly. Extend them out just a little bit more, because of the cavalry nature of the battle. Then let's scooch them forwards. Run them the last at length. Because depending on who they target... Mm -hmm. There goes an the artillery. There go well, there goes the artillery. There goes the cavalry. General's dead. It wasn't close. We could have held out for a while. We had plenty of ammo. I love how with the US my idea was to have hour-long specials, but for every tenth part, this is part 129, <laughs> and it's almost now already. Got us knock them back, and it's knocked them back. Hmm? Raid away, my Maratha friends. Raid. There is a degree of unrest in this region. Yeah, Tunis is fine. Lots. Raid, 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 raid. Raid. Just upgrade buildings as and when I see them, although there's no real need to upgrade them all. I, mean, I would upgrade this, but there's no point because it'll just be raided, so let's take Ready and you, more. Killian Hadley. Take position up on this hill. And you've got control over who comes in. Let's combine the marines together, because that's a lot of... Oh no, that would be the wrong way. Good stuff. Um, let's feed you and... No, no, hold on. Let's feed you to them. Sir. Awesome. So then let's Orders. jump in. Jump two units of company infantry into the fort. Make ready. You come back around to Godfrey K. You guys replenish. Awesome. Sir. And you guys are also replenishing, but you've not got much to replenish. Good. Okay. So my saw is replenishing. It's being replenished. You march on to Karnataka, then we can just straight on drive north. Okay, no, you don't go up there, you go here. The, you're ne needed here more. This is where the bulk of the enemy forces are, so let's combine some units together so we aren't completely outnumbered. Well, at least, we've, at least we've got, like, you know, strong units at the core of the army. Okay. At the ready. Eric Fortescue. Actually, let's move. I was going to say Siege Ahmedabad, but even though that's all funky, I'm going to just siege them, just to lock that army up. And you can see they are attempting Make some sort ready. of breakout. So let's start to move Mark. some armies Humble, inland to combat them. 
You are barely damaged. You draw them into battle near Kabul. You could do with troops. Let's bring up my this army. Let's take my army here or my city here. Nope, you can't recruit any. Azerbaijan start pumping our line infantry. Uh, Baghdad can't recruit proper line infantry. Just keep pumping them out of Azerbaijan and sending them south. Probably the same with Armenia. No, you can't do it. Damascus, nope. Jerusalem, nope. Ankara, nope. Just Grenadiers. To be honest, let's start sending, even if it's just fragments like this, just start sending them east. Ooh, can you? Yeah, you can't recruit infantry. Not proper infantry. Hmm. So long can recruit company infantry. Which I will do. Just keep pumping them out. Um, Satara is already... Artillery's, artillery's nice, but let's get let's get some of these if we're being sieged. Let's group, let's group the I can't group the artillery together. So the great fortress here. You guys need replenishment, and oh, you can recruit company infantry from here. Sweet. Okay, let's not go mad with company infantry. Let's try keep it keep it so that we would be outnumbering them more with native infantry than company infantry. Let's get some mercenaries as well. Awesome. Eric Fortescue. I mean that looks like that would be a real pain in the ass. But I'm going to take Adnagar because this gives us another defensive position which can recruit troops, which is very important. Let's build the church school. Zahedin is going to stay where they are, because that's quite a nice sort of defensive army, especially if they're trying to drive west. Lots of horsemen there. But the board is set for the next few moves. Kataki would be lovely if you replenished. Just take my sloop back to Trichamli. Uh, what's down here in this port? Copy is Cav, but this army's pretty knackered. Yes, Let's build a church school here in Mysore. Awesome. I'm going to hit end turn just to see what happens, because I suspect they will attack me. Oh, I've got more armies to bring. I'm sat there doing nothing. I'm not going to intercept near Satara, because I need the opportunity to replenish. Same again, I don't want to do it. Uh, nope. Okay, Mervyn, I think that's you. I think this is Mervyn, but still, nope. 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 They are pulling back. Probably because they realise that the entire southern part of the continent is at risk. Oh, they've flanked around. I mean, if he wants to go for Zahedin, he's more than welcome. Garrison there will destroy them. But I think right now I've captured enough of their major towns that they've, they've lost a lot of recruitment options. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'd, f I'd fight that because I don't really get what's going on here. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States against the Maratha Hordes. Cheers, guys.